Hello and welcome to the first tutorial of Design Script. This video aims to give you an introduction to the elements and the features of IDE. The Design Script's IDE has three parts Toolbar, Editor section, and the Output section. The toolbar contains all the essential tools for writing, editing, and running the script. The Editor section is where the script is written and the output section is where the output warnings and errors in the script are shown. The geometry output is shown in the AutoCAD modeling space. The initial section of the toolbar has tools that are associated with script files. The next two are undo and redo buttons. The middle section contains buttons that are associated with executing the script. Run button executes the script top to bottom without any breaks and gives you the output. The run debug button executes the script in a controlled manner. When you run the script in debug mode, you can step through each statement using step next, step into a function using step in, step out, and stop the execution at any point using stop button. In case you want to directly execute a set of statements without having to go through each statement, you can use breakpoints. You can set breakpoint at a specific line by clicking the leftmost strip in the editor section. You can also set multiple breakpoints. On using the run debug button, you can see the execution cursor jumps directly to the line with the breakpoint. You can remove a breakpoint by simply clicking on the breakpoint symbol. In case the script has some statements that cannot be understood by the IDE, an error message or a warning is shown. Every statement in the design script ends with a semicolon. In this case, when we deliberately miss it and run the script, we get an error message. The error message also has the line number information and you can get to the line by clicking on the error message. Once you have rectified the statement, you can see that error symbol is changed to the rerun symbol. You can click the rerun symbol to execute the script instead of going all the way to the run button. When you run the script in debug mode, you can also keep an eye on the values of the specific variables that are used in the script. You can add the variables to the watch window using menu from right click or by simply dragging the variable into the watch window. As you can notice, the variable is updated to its latest value as you execute the script. Now, let's write a script that generates a set of spheres. For more geometric functions, you can refer to the geometric library from the help and references section. Upon running the script in debug mode, we can see that the geometry is being generated in AutoCAD modeling space. On adding the variable in the watch window, we can see that the corresponding model is being highlighted when the variable is clicked. In case you want to find a specific variable in the script, you can use find and replace box. Upon entering the string, we can see that the matches are instantly highlighted. To replace the highlighted text, click the arrow button on the side that reveals the replace panel. Use the change button to replace the text. Apart from these features, there are some additional settings that can be applied to the design script IDE. By default, the numeric output is set to off. You can turn it on so that you get the numeric output in addition to the geometric output. Smart formatting makes your script more readable and by turning the numeric slider on, we can change the numeric values using a dynamic slider.
Some shortcuts are added to the design script IDE to make the frequently used functions easier. With this introduction, we hope you can get started on using the design script IDE to write some interesting scripts. Please do look out for more tutorials to be added in this section. Thank you for watching the video.